I'm actually out here to do a video about uh, a tripod, but I thought since uh, my, my bullfrog just climbed out of the pond, maybe I would uh, give you a quick look at him. See if he will indulge me and stay there for a minute. You can see my projects I got going. I'm building another planter out there. Let's see if I can zoom in on my bullfrog a little bit. Well, maybe he will indulge me just a little longer. He seems pretty content right now. Okay, we'll talk about this tripod a little bit. It actually, um, it's a trigger stick. And for anybody that uh, does any shooting sports, uh, you may already be familiar with this, and I'll go. I'll give you some close-ups of it here in a minute. But uh, this thing is a is a pretty amazing unit. You can use it as a walking stick, and all you do you you pull the trigger, and the legs telescope on their own. And if you're going to use it as a walking stick, there is a uh, switch right here. You flip this, then that disables the trigger, so it locks it in at that height. So on the bottom if you want to use it as a tripod. Now you can use it as a monopod like this, obviously uh, if you're wanting to throw a rifle or a pistol or something up here, this is this is where it would go. Uh, not everybody is into that, but you can use this for a camera. It's very versatile and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just pop this loose, you can spread these out and uh, now you've got a, a nice tripod this piece unscrews from the top and you've got a quarter 20 and a 3 8 depending on what your camera is nice little platform the thing i like it, it deploys quickly so if you want it to be tall it can be tall and you move it around to whatever angle you want it when you let go of the trigger that's where it stays put it here that's where it stays so very versatile and then i've come up with a little something else that makes it even more versatile. And I'll show that to you in a second. I'm gonna zoom the camera back in a little bit instead of this super wide angle and uh, get it up a little bit closer. And I'll show you, show you what I've done. Try to get it up here where you can see it. So this is the, uh, the piece that would normally be on here when you get it. And then you just unscrew this piece. Then you've got your quarter 20 with the 3 8 and it just retracts so if you need the quarter 20 you just push down it when you're screwing your whatever into it your your uh, camera mount and it'll work with the gopro mount uh, pretty much any camera you can put on there okay this is the little piece of magic that makes this thing super versatile it's just a friction arm and if you've never used one of these um, this did not come with it but i really like that. I use that for my iPhone and I'll show you how that works in a minute. This comes with this piece. It comes with a cold shoe mount that goes right here and then it comes with this clamp and this clamp will take a 3 8 or a quarter 20. It's on the quarter 20 now. For what we're about to do, I'm not going to use this. I built an extra little piece and I'll show that to you now. This is a little piece I built, and it's just a quarter 20 adapter. It'll go on here, and it gives a large enough foot, or a large enough, it gives a large enough footprint that uh, it's real stable. And then this will screw into the, the uh, little adapter that I made. Then I'll show you how all of it works once I get this together. If you've never used one of these friction arms before, this thing has got tons of adjustment. There's a little notch right here so you can turn this at a 90, swivel it 360 degrees. Uh, it's got another one on this end, same thing. You can, and then you've got this little magic piece right here. When you tighten this up, it locks everything, locks the other 
joints all at one time. So now everything is solid. Now, this tripod setup that we're talking about, it's not a rock stable, um, what I would call taking a you know stabilized picture of the moon type thing. But for what what we do or what I do out in the field, this thing is great. Now I'm just going to use my old iPhone because I'm using my new iPhone to video this with. And this just slides through here once you get it opened up enough. And it will, this is an iPhone 8 Plus, I think it is. It's my old, my old phone. And it will accommodate this phone with a case on it. So you get that in there. Let's see, I don't have facial recognition on this one, so we... Oh, I just rebooted it. Okay, so let me just turn on the factory camera app on this. And then you can see through here, that's eh, not a very good... And you just lock it in place. Now there's a set screw that holds this in place. I didn't tighten that up. So there's your, there's your setup right there. Yeah. For somebody that's just on the go and you just want to do something, a project real quick, this is really super handy. And it's, it's reasonably stable, but like I said, it's not a, a fully balanced vibration resistant uh, take pictures of the moon type tripod. But it will let you get some shots quickly when you're out in the field. So I think it's a great deal. Uh, the microphone that I'm using today, I'll try to touch on that. This is the microphone and receiver that I'm using today. I mean, I'm just using the factory lav mic uh, that came with this. It's got a little clip that holds it in the top. And then this is the receiver. And it'll do stereo. I got the uh, Boom XD2. So I actually have two transmitters and one receiver. So if my wife wants to come out with me, then when she says something, it doesn't sound like I'm making up a conversation because you'll be able to hear her too. But so far, I've been pretty happy with this. It's what you're listening to right now. So it, I may have it, you know, I may have to get into the settings a little deeper and, and tinker with it some. So that's kind of what this is. I'm just experimenting and as... Uh, as time goes by, I'll, um, I'll get the settings dialed in a little bit better. It seems like it's maybe just still just a little bit hot. I did turn it down to, uh, I think I've got it set on the receiver at plus 4 dB right now. Now, plus 2 dB is what I've got it set at right now. And I'll show you um, the setup that I have this on here with on the other tripod is just a um, small rig is the name of the company see if I can get that in the frame that's here's my wife's microphone she's got the uh, road wireless road wireless go that's her microphone and I got the Comica Comica I have no idea how to say it but there's the uh, the model number on it. I've got to get it over here where the focal point is. There's your the microphone you've been listening to today. So anyway, I rambled enough. So that's the tripod I wanted to show you. Extremely versatile and uh, really handy in the field. You can use it as a walking stick. You can use it as a shooting stick. You can lock it into position. You can go really high. You can go really low. So... And, and that's the nice thing, even with the uh, mount that I had on there, you can leave it on the top and you can still get pretty low. See if I can give you an idea on that. Okay, so with this friction arm, and you can get longer friction arms than this, but with this friction arm on here, I'm 5'10"-ish, uh, used to be 5'11"-ish. So you can see this is, this is uh, I don't know, 6'4"? 6.5 without measuring it, I'm not sure. But here's a really cool thing. These legs will telescope out. So you can get really, really low to the ground. 
And with this arm on there, you can exploit that even further. You get these things set just right. Bring this one down here, bring this one down here, and you can get really close to the ground. Now, you can put the, the factory clamp back on it and clamp it onto these legs, but these legs uh, will rotate, So they're, they're, and there's no way that I know of to lock those in. You could possibly clamp that onto the uh, smaller diameter of the leg. It does not rotate. So very, very versatile with this thing. I, I mean, if it, it, there's just... I don't know what, how to say it other than that. Like I say, you're not going to be taking a moonshot with it. Um, if you tap on it, it's going to vibrate. The wind, I don't think, is going to blow it. But just something to think about if you're looking for something that's handy, th something you can take out in the field. I don't know what the thing weighs. I'm not even sure what I gave for this. You'll have to look it up because I've had it for three years something like that. So I'm sure the price has changed, but it's made, it's a trigger stick and it's made, made by a company called Primos. I'll uh, turn this around here so you can see it. This is a Primos trigger stick Gen 2, if that's coming out. So that's all I've got for you today. See if I can assemble this into something that looks halfway reasonable without all the bumbling in it. At least you get a picture of my frog. And I, if anybody's interested in a better review of this microphone and or the uh, wireless go. Um, if you're interested in seeing a review on those, let me know and I... I might even uh, be able to do a comparison between the Wireless Go and uh, the uh, Comica Boom XD2. And the only difference between the two and the XD is uh, this was a two-channel AB stereo with two, uh, two transmitters. And the, uh, the Boom XD just has one transmitter. Anyway, I bumbled along enough. So if anybody's interested in seeing that, put it in the comments and I'll try to get to that too.